Hi guys and welcome to another video. My name is Karen and today I want to share with you my tips for being a smart consumer in makeup and in general. What's most important for us is makeup and skincare, but some of the tips are relevant also for other products that you buy. Well, first tip is buy only what you need. When I say that, I mean that don't be tempted to buy something that you don't really need because sometimes you will regret it and you say, oh my God, why did I buy it? Why did I waste my money on it? I don't really need it. For example, let's take mascara. When you buy mascara, you know that after you open it, you usually need to finish it in three months. Give or take three months, let's say three months, four months or so. So there is no point in buying in bulk. Don't buy too many mascara because one thing, it will dry up when it sits in your stash. I know, I did it. I bought mascara that I don't really need and now it is sitting in my stash and it's getting dry. And I know three months are from opening date, but when it sits in your drawer, it gets dried. And when you open it, you have three to four months to finish it. Don't use mascara for a longer period than that because then it can harm your eyes and my, our eyes are the most important. So really think before you buy do i really need it when you buy something that you don't really need well there are a few effects first of all it costs you a lot of money even though it's affordable from the drugstore you can buy other things with that money okay so first of all is money second of all waste if you don't really need it it will go to the bin even though maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but if it will be, let's say, mascara and it's dried out, it will go to the bin and we're creating more waste than we need to. And, you know, you really don't need too many materials. For example, eyeshadow palettes. I have this palette by AWB Makeup. It's called the Game Changer. And it wasn't affordable. It cost me, um, I think, about 60 or 70 dollars. It wasn't cheap but look at the variety of colors and you know I can make so many looks using this palette it's very versatile it has shimmers and mattes and lots of colors you can have you have nude color you have color you can make multiple looks using this palette so this is what I do recommend Invest your money in two, three palettes that has a lot of variety and you can create many, many looks with it and they are in high quality and that way you don't really need to buy so many eyeshadow palettes. One, two, three is enough. It really is. Now, if you're a junkie like me, you buy more than three. I have more than three, unfortunately. But if I do I really need more than three? No, I don't. So think about it. You save money and you help the environment, which is very important, to reduce waste. So buy only what you need. Now I know sometimes we uh, go online and we see lots of sales and we really want this it looks pretty and a youtuber recommended it and i really really want it so what i do and it's a tip from me to you is that i i go over let's say i'm on iherb and i have uh, a lot of things that I have in my bag. So I see something that I like, I add it to the bag. I see another thing that I like, I add it to the bag. And then I check the bag. Usually get to hundreds of dollars, <laughs> but I check the bag and I go over it and I think, well, do I really need that? Maybe I put it in my lists. Maybe I will buy it in another time. And that's all and that I'm going over and over and over and over the list and then I have a very small bag of things on high herb that I want to buy but I don't buy them immediately I have the bag ready I have it now I have a bag ready that I didn't really purchase yet 
So it's ready. It's waiting for me. There are items there that now are on sale and maybe tomorrow they won't be. But I'm keep asking myself, do I really need everything that is on that list? I'm adding and taking out and adding and taking out and all the time and I still didn't buy. So I do recommend doing it in your favorite shops on Colourpop. I have a bag, I have a bag on Beauty Bay, I have a bag in Lady Makeup and iHerb and, and Cult Beauty and all those sites I have a prepared bag. But I'm thinking all the time with myself, do I really need these items? Because if I have eyeshadow palettes, why do I need to buy more? If I have three bronzers, do I really need more bronzers? Do I really need more than, I don't know, two blushes or two blush palettes? It will save you money and it will help the environment to be clear out of unnecessary trash. Okay, so this is tip number one. Think carefully and buy only what you really need. Well, tip number two is always check the expiration date. Well, not all sites, but some sites give the expiration date of the products. For example, on iHerb, on iHerb it is very easy to see the expiration date. So keep that in mind when you are shopping online, because if a product has a short expiration date, it means that it was sitting on a shelf or in a warehouse or wherever it is a very long time. I'll give you a recent example. I really wanted to buy a face palette from Smashbox on iHerb and I saw that it was on sale. It was, I think, about 40% off and it looked very, very appealing and I really wanted to buy it. And then I checked out the expiration date. And the expiration date was, if I'm not mistaken, October 2020 or September 2020, which means right around the corner. So that means that the product was on someone's shelf, someone's warehouse for a very long time, because usually products come with three, four years of shelf life. So usually if you look on iHub, you can buy products that have shelf life to 2023. So 2020 don't be tempted to buy it and you won't use it for a very long time because you don't know how long it was on storage i really don't recommend it always check the expiration date i know there are sites that don't mention the expiration date and show you only how long the material is good for from opening there is the box with the open lid on it that shows you how long it's good for when you open it but if there is this information is visible and uh, on the website i really do recommend looking out for it it applies also when you buy food when you buy food always buy with longer expiration date because you don't really know when you're going to use it and if it's a short expiration date maybe you will forget using it and then has to throw it away. And we don't want to throw away food. This is very important in skincare. You want the product to be as fresh as possible. You don't want to be buying something that sits in a warehouse for a long time. Next up is check the price in several sites. Or if you go on to the store, check the price in several stores. Today you can check online. You don't have to physically go there. Check the price and compare the prices and compare the sales and find the best deal possible. So, let's say for example you want to buy something from L'Oreal, check on Lady, uh, Lady Makeup, check on iHerb, check anywhere that sells L'Oreal online, check your local store, maybe they have a very good sale and see where is the best price. Now, if we're talking about price, there is always the price of shipping. And a question that I always ask myself is, I really want to buy more to save on shipping. And usually, uh, let's say on iHerb or on Beauty Bay or other sites, on Colourpop or whatever, you have free shipping if you reach, let's say, $40 or $50. But do I really need to spend $40 to buy makeup that maybe I don't really need 
in so is it worth it spending more and buying more items in order to get the free shipping well it really depends if the free shipping is from 40 dollars and you reach 30 then i think it makes sense but if what you want is 15 dollars then it's best to invest in shipping the best solution for this is buy with a friend buy with your sister your mother your brother I don't know, whatever, anyone, maybe a colleague from work, uh, a neighbor, buy together and then you buy in 25, they buy in 25 and then you combine shipping and you get free shipping but you don't have to waste so much money and buy things that you don't really need, which is related to my first tip, buy only what you need. So if you combine shipping and ship together with a friend, you save a lot of money. also did it a few times in the past when my friend bought something and I added a nail, po nail polish, for example, this nail polish. I added this nail polish to her list. Well, and I'm another two, but that's not the point. I added it to her list because I know that she was supposed to buy. And when I added mine, she got free shipping or let's say from BH Cosmetics. We bought together from the website. She bought a few items. I bought a few items. We got to the $75, but we got exactly to $75 and we got free shipping. So we saved money to when we bought together. So this is a very, very good tip. Buy with a friend, a neighbor, a sister, I don't know, someone you're close to uh, and uh, share the expense. Other tip is shop at reliable stores don't shop anywhere go to places if you go physically or buy online on shops that has a good reputation that you can return if you bought something and you want to return it it's easy to return because if it's not easy to return likelihood is that you won't return it and you'll be stuck with it even though you don't want it it's not good for you uh, and you will st be stuck with it and you will waste your money for no reason just because it's hard to return to that store or the store doesn't get returns. Another thing is a store that buys in bulk and keeps it in the storage and you don't really know if it's fresh, if it's a long time on the shelf and sometimes this material when you open them, especially if it's for the face and they don't have a good smell, sometimes if you buy from a website that you don't really know and you don't have recommendations, then maybe the product that you're buying, which is too cheap, it's not a real product. For example, let's take Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes that costs, if I'm not mistaken, about $50 or $47 on Beauty Bay. If you find them in $10, likelihood that it is not an original ABH because it doesn't make sense that it will be that cheap or maybe it has a very short expiration date. So buy only from places that you heard of, your friends recommended, you read, you are in a, in a Facebook group and you do recommend buying from places that you heard things good things about like lady makeup and eye herb and beauty bay and there are many others okay uh, i'm not saying only those ulta i don't know sephora whatever there is there are many good sites but read reviews on the store r listen to your friends go to a facebook group that is uh, talking about makeup there are many many ways today to read reviews to see what other people think about that store. Be careful not to buy anything that is not an original because it will harm your face, especially skincare and makeup. Next up is a general comment. If you go to the shop physically, always take a reusable bag. Don't take the bag from the store. It's a plastic bag that usually goes to the ocean and if it's a see-through bag then the turtles think it's a jellyfish and they eat it and they die so it's very important to use a reusable bag if you knew how much plastic is in the ocean you'd be horrified mortified 
and you will never eat fish or sea fish again because the amount of plastic that this fish has in their stomach is amazing not a good amazing a bad amazing when you don't bring a reusable bag and you take a plastic bag from the shop where you bought it's free or it costs money but it's a very small amount of money and what you do with it you use it one once maybe twice and it goes to the bin well that's it these are my tips for the smart consumer especially when it's skincare and makeup but also for other products that we buy look for the expiration date buy with a friend use a reusable bag uh, think and really buy only what you need and so on and so on the list is endless but that's everything I have for you now. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. I would love to hear your thoughts on this matter. If you have other tips you can share with me, with other viewers, write them down in the comment section down below. Consider subscribing if you haven't done that yet and hit the notification bell and I'll catch you all in my next video. Bye!